Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Rajesh Jai. Hope you are all doing good. Recently, Adobe acquired the Figma for $20 billion on September 15th and Adobe just released a lengthy announcement which is actually the double the cost of Figma which is a huge money. So basically, this thing is divided into the cash and stocks. I have seen this news on Twitter. It was surprising and shocking. What to say, I don't know. In the product design world, this news get viral like it's in everywhere on Twitter, LinkedIn. Lots of memes have been made. Some people are liking it, some people don't. Basically, the reason for not liking that both platforms should work differently is because Figma has been doing an incredible work from the last few years. They have created such an application which is loved by designers, developers, product managers. You can check this article, recently Adobe has shared in their website. Like today we are announcing that Figma has entered the agreement to be acquired by Adobe. This has been the work over the past few months which I have told you like they are working on. And I am so excited to finally share the news with the world. So yeah, you go ahead with this article, you can read. I will add this link in the description box also so you can read the article. From there. there is a huge opportunity for us to accelerate growth and innovation the Figma platform with access to Adobe technology. Yeah, they will work on this. For example, we will have the opportunity to incorporate like video 3D and font technology additionally, blah 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 blah. So you can read all this thing and in the future you definitely got to know like what are their plans. Sadly, the stock price of Adobe has gone down by 50%. You can check here how Adobe stocks are badly crashed. Like if I go to the five days, so it was here like 368. 371 dollars but now after the news it get crashed to 300 310 308 now it's here 295 dollars why people are concerned as if you started a designing journey this year or back then you definitely started with adobe xd sketch or figma but i started the journey in 2013-14 we used to make design in photoshop we used to make an app or website or whatever design in only in photoshop then slice the assets and give it to the developer after that zeppelin came luckily which reduced some work for us designer we used to upload the design in zeppelin and from there developer used to download the assets photoshop was too cumbersome it was not for the product design it can be used as an alternative if you are using a figma you will definitely don't think about going back to photoshop it used to make files so heavy if there are more than 20 to 30 screens for a single app file size goes into the gb then i think from 2017-18 please don't quote me i may be wrong sketch came at the end with that adobe xd parallelly came Figma was also growing in the product world. Their interface was very easy to understand and pretty similar with each other. And they have a necessary feature which we require to design a product like app or a website. It was like a new journey had started for a UI designing. The sketch was also easy to use but the main problem was that it will work only on Macbook. And I remember many organizations shifted to Mac from Windows like ordering the bulk of Macbook just because a few market leaders were talking about the sketch. It was funny that people started following just because a few top people were using it. I will suggest don't just shift instantly for anything because some top leaders were switching. You never know the priorities of anyone. It's best you just stay calm down and do the research. Is there any other alternative way? And at that time, uh, I remember few people were using Adobe XD and Figma. So I started using Adobe XD to explore that, which was also a great app that works with window also. Like we were a window user at that time. Like I was also a user of Adobe XD, it was a great tool to work, it was very smooth but doesn't get similar success as Figma. The best part of a Figma after using that it works also on the browser like you can work from any part of the world just you have to require a login credential, that's it. And internet. Figma was so easy to use, you can invite developers, designers, business analysts, product managers, stakeholders for collaboration. Basically Figma provides a community so any designer can publish their work. If you're hearing some background noise, please avoid that. I'm sorry for that because a lot of construction work is going on uh, in this area. So can't do anything. I think it was all part of a plan like from this two to three months Figma was pushing their premium plans. But now we get to know why it was happening. And guys will suggest that don't depend only on one software. You never know what will happen in the future. Like most people have started from Photoshop. Now they are in Figma. Might be in future some different software application or AI will be there. You never know. If we take it in a positive way, more innovation might happen and so might after the collaboration they will work on more features and the good news can be the Figma will get more resources. 
Figma's expertise and knowledge in product design application can bring more creativity. Figma is a technological advantage and a diehard community on product design. So let's hope the good thing and Adobe should not kill the Figma by adding too many features and keep its popularity of Figma. Might be they do a mixing of Adobe XD and Figma to make a new something differently. Nobody knows like Adobe has a good thing about the library like any other Adobe software. So you can use their library to download their assets. So if you are a Figma user, now you are an Adobe user. Figma, FigJam is a great tool. Figma community is a great resource. Let me know in the comment chat like what are the good things you liked of both the software. The disadvantage can be the sketch can come out of the box. It would be very bad like it works only on Mac. It might be an unnecessary cost for income statement to Adobe with this huge amount of 20 billion dollar. Let's see. Let's hope for the good. Let me know in the comment box below what are you thought about this? Did you hate it? Love it? Are you an Adobe supporter or Figma supporter? Let me know your suggestion and please share this video. I'll see you later. I'm working on different content on Figma. We'll come back soon and take care. If you're watching this video, make sure you're giving a thumbs up, subscribe and do all the fun stuff because this helps to grow the YouTube algorithm. Just turn on the bell notification so you will get all the latest updates. I'll see you in the next video very soon and thanks for watching.